Welcome to Train Science! In the past, before cars, trains were the main type of ground transport. Before trains, people pushed carts on rails to move coal and ore from mines. Later, the steam engine is invented. Steam turns iron wheels on rails to power trains. Trains and tracks become a worldwide network. At first, some people think that humans will die if they travel at train speeds. Let's look at train science with seven S's. 1. Steam Burn fuel to heat water into steam. Hot steam has a high pressure that pushes straight pistons that turns the round wheels that make the train move. For safety, extra steam is released through valves and a whistle. But what are trains made of? 2. Steel At first, trains and tracks are made of iron. Some people call trains iron horses. Later, steel is made that is stronger than iron. Steel is iron with just the right amount of carbon or other metals added. Over time, the steel replaces iron to make stronger trains and tracks. Steel makes strong boilers that hold the high-pressure steam too. How does steam power steel trains? 3. Slides To recap, fuel burns to make steam. Hot, high-pressure steam enters the cylinder, then pushes or slides a piston that turns the train wheels. The slide valve lets steam push on one piston side and then the other to turn the wheels into a whole circle. Where can we make railroads? 4. Survey To start, measure or survey the route for the road. That is, find a way from point A to point B. Early trains can only climb 2 feet up or every 100 feet they go forward. This is a challenge because the ground constantly changes in height. For example, the city of San Fran is at sea level. The train tracks have to climb mountains to the east are 7,200 feet high. How are the train tracks made? Build steps. People with mostly hand tools and a bit of blasting prepare the land for the train tracks. Workers cut through mountains. They fill in valleys. And build wooden bridges. They crush rock and add wooden ties. Workers put the heavier rails on top. They pound spikes to the railroads and hold them in place. Next, time is trouble. 6. Schedule In the past, each city set their own clocks when the noon sun is straight overhead. At that time, the clocks in London were 10 minutes different than this city. This is a problem with what time trains leave and arrive in the cities connected by railroads. Railroad standard time solves this problem. That is, England puts the whole country on one time zone. The USA makes four time zones instead of every city having their own time. This standardizes train departures and arrivals. How have trains impacted all of our lives? Society. Trains change how we live. Before trains, it took six months travel from New York to California. With trains, the trip took six days. Trains provide jobs for many people. Many people and products are transported by trains. In the past, telegraph wires that enable cross-country communication run next to the train tracks. 
Today, trains are powered by diesel engines, electricity, and magnets. In Japan, trains go over 300 kilometers per hour. To close, fuel burns and heats water into hot, high-pressure steam. Steam pushes strong steel parts that slide back and forth, that turn round wheels on the steel rails. For over 200 years, trains transport people and goods across countries and continents. Science is in processes that make and move the trains and tracks.